That's strong. It wasn't just licensed games that got ported to anything and everything under the sun, it was games like Pinball Dreams, too. This one was originally made for the Amiga in 1992 and was ported to... <gasps> DOS, Game Boy, Game Gear, Game Boy Advance, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, GP32, Atari Falcon. The hell's an Atari Falcon? Well, what's really interesting about Pinball Dreams is that many of those ports have come this century, like the Commodore and Amstrad versions. There's also an iOS version, and the game made its way to the PlayStation Network once upon a time. So, what is this game? Well, I'm a Super Nintendo guy, duh, so let's take a look at the Super Nintendo port, and it's a pinball video game. Just, you know, pinball. Not a lot of frills or extras here, what you see is what you get, for better or for worse. There's four different tables you can choose from. There's Ignition, which has a space theme that's probably the easiest of the four to manage. Steel Wheel has a Wild West motif that's the most creative of the four boards, and my pick for the best one in the game. Beatbox has a music theme where the music changes every time the ball hits a flipper, and Nightmare, which features lots of horror stuff, and is probably the most difficult to manage since it has all sorts of different oddball angles. Really, the only other notable feature here is that you can have up to eight separate players take turns as the game keeps track of score for each player. The action here is decent, and there's plenty of stuff to try and attain on each table, but it's not nearly as interesting is games like Devil's Crush or even Crewball on Sega Genesis. Pinball Dreams is fine for what it is, but yeah, it's pinball, not much else to say. So, that being said, what the heck, let's take this opportunity to look at all the other Super Nintendo pinball games. Pinball Fantasies was made by the same folks who made Pinball Dreams, Game Tech, and it's, uh, more pinball. Imagine that. I would say the four tables featured here are a little more interesting than Pinball Dreams. Here we've got a carnival theme in Party Land, a race car theme in Speed Devils, a game show motif in Billion Dollar Game Show, and another Halloween-type table with Stones and Bones. The viewpoint is a little more zoomed out here, which helps, but otherwise this is really just more of the same as Pinball Dreams, so if you liked that, you'll like this. Moving on, since it was the 90s, of course Banpresto had to make a Compati Hero pinball game. This one simply titled Battle Pinball. This one never left Japan, as you could probably guess, but it features all the usual suspects like Ultraman, Gundam, Kamen Rider, and the like. There's all sorts of stuff you can smash and all kinds of moving parts you have to contend with, so this game does have plenty to do and plenty of personality, which is nice. The screen is split up into parts here instead of scrolling, so that may bother some people. But yeah, this game is fun for what it is. Be forewarned though, there's plenty of Japanese text you'll have to manage in the menus. Super Pinball Behind the Mask was actually developed by Technos, of all people. It only features three different tables, but there's two game modes, split between multiplayer and conquest mode, which is just single player trying to quote-unquote defeat each table. There's a Jolly Joker table that has kind of an evil clown motif. There's Blackbeard and Iron Men, which has a pirate theme. And Wizard, which has a Mr. Wizard theme. No, I wish. It's just a regular old fantasy theme. What's interesting about this one is how zoomed out the viewing angle is compared to the previous games, so you can actually actually see the entire board at once. But there's two issues with that. One is that it's harder to see detail, obviously, and two is that the board itself is smaller. But in the case of a video pinball game, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I prefer seeing this to my eyes getting tired from the viewpoint itself whipping around. There's also Super Pinball 2 subtitled Amazing Odyssey, but it stayed in Japan and was never released elsewhere, and this feels like DLC for the first game because it's almost exactly the same, just more tables. This time there's a spy theme, a space sister theme? I don't know, some kind of Barbarella knockoff, I guess. And there's a cross-eyed clown theme. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Maybe he's just not photogenic or something? Anyway, these games are fine for what they are. One game I should mention very quickly is Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. It's just a collection of five mini-games, but one of them is a pinball game, and it exists. So, yeah. Back to actually interesting pinball games, here's an American Battle Dome, and it's four-player pinball, with the goal being to have the fewest number of balls to get past you within a time limit. This one's kind of a fun multiplayer game for a little while, and there's at least five tables to choose from, so it's a neat novelty, if nothing else. Again, like Battle Pinball, there's a bit of a language barrier here, so be prepared for that if you play this one. Saving the best for last, here's Jackie Crush. Yeah. Yeah.
Come on, tell me you don't want to play this one after seeing that. As you might have guessed, this game is part of the Crush Pinball series, and it's the third game coming after Alien Crush and Devil's Crush for TurboGrafx-16. This game does not disappoint. There's plenty of crazy-ass visuals here, with the idea of the table being to depict hell as it was perceived back in ancient Japan, and the artists here really went nuts with it. There's tons of action all over the place. The table is split into three sections that all scroll together, and when you level up from a table, so to speak, there's no telling what the hell is gonna happen. Like here, I'm suddenly fighting this giant transforming face? Good god! Yeah, when it comes to pinball video games, there's the Crush series, and then there's everything else. This game is well worth checking out any way you can. Alright, that's all for now, and I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.